We are quickly approaching kickoff across the region. Let's join our crews one last time, starting with Kendra, who's in Cesar for the 148 showdown. The Highway 148 rivalry is an exciting one, and we have one more great guest with us, the legendary Carol Kelly. His name is on the field, been around the program for years, coached the program, everything, and now he runs the time. Carol, what's it been like to be around this program and watch this rivalry grow over the years? Oh, it's been fantastic. You know, they, they didn't come any better than this. You know, Christopher and Cesar, they've always been rivals here ever since I can remember. And, of course, I coached 23 years of it, and we had our ups and downs. And the one, I, uh, one coach that I really remember is Max McDonald from Christopher. And uh, we always had this rivalry. And, and you win some, you lose some. But it's always a big rivalry and see who wins the, wins the most. So. You obviously love being around the program. You've been around for so many years, and you're still sticking with it. Does it just get better every year? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, of course, keeping the clock. And and uh, used to play football myself, so I enjoy it. And, uh, it's something that uh, I always look forward to every year. So it's fun keeping the clock. Well, thank you so much for joining us. The Red Devils are taking the field, which means kickoff is five minutes away. Going to send it over to Danny for one last round. Checking in with him. How's it going out there, Danny? Kendra, I'm here at Military Appreciation Night in Metropolis, where in just a few moments, Massac County High School's football team, the Patriots, will come running onto the field in front of members of the Illinois National Guard. Let's take a look here at the preparations. You can see they are right behind the Massac County band. Most of the pregame festivities has already ended, and it looks like they're time for some Patri it's time for some Patriot football. And here comes the run, led by the Illinois National Guard on Military Appreciation. Day, Massac County hosting their first home game in three weeks, guys. So they're hoping to end a two game losing streak with a win tonight on Military Appreciation Night. The Patriots hosting the Harrisburg Bulldogs. The Bulldogs coming at 3 and 1, 1 and 0 in the Southern Illinois River to River Ohio Conference. And Massac's 2 and 2. They're 0 and 1 in the conference. Both teams looking for wins tonight. And we'll kick off in just a few moments. We'll have highlights from this one later tonight. But for now, we're going to send it out to Julie Williams, where the Mount Vernon Rams and the Marion Wildcats are almost ready to play football. Julie, good evening. Yeah, Danny, the band is starting behind us because we are just minutes away from kickoff here in Mount Vernon as they get ready to take on Marion for your South 7 game of the week. And now all night I've been talking about the weather. It is fall and it's starting to feel like it's getting a little crisp out here and perfect timing because Mount Vernon's Fall Fest is going on right now. It started maybe two hours ago. There is a live entertainment tonight, the cruising, the vendor marketplace, and the fun, it continues tomorrow morning. The parade starts things off, and again, they'll have the vendor marketplace. There's also live music tomorrow night. Southern Illinois native Drew Baldridge will take this stage. And now there are some route changes as to where the vendor marketplace is, where the cruising is because of a collapsing building in Mount Vernon. But organizers tell us everything is still going strong. We have all the updated and changed information on our website, WSILT. TV.com. Again, Fall Fest going on this weekend in Mount Vernon. Perfect timing because the weather is feeling like fall. Perfect for Friday night football live in Mount Vernon. I'm Julie Williams for News 3. Mark, I'm going to send it back to you. Thank you, Julie. And that's all we have for now. Be sure to join us for Sports Extra on News 3 at 10 when we'll have scores and highlights from around the area. We leave you with some of the best plays from last week's games. Have a great evening.